You guys had uh, one other app that, 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 that was using some of these new tools, right? Uh, there, are, there are actually uh, two. There's the um, one that we have we've just made available in App World, so it's not is not out of the box on the on the device, but is available for free uh, from App World called called Scrapbook. So again, you get you know some of the simple playful elements. You get the uh, the movement of your scrapbook pictures on the clothesline. Uh, you know, just an, another great paradigm for doing a scrolling. You know, it's really a scrolling list. Um, but it also allows you to, uh, you know, build a scrapbook, and uh, you know, little things like being able to drag and rotate and manipulate the image on the screen, and uh, I mean things like that. That if you were writing in native code without a framework, uh, would really be quite quite difficult and quite challenging for for most developers. Uh, but with the framework and with the engine that the TAT provides, it's it's really very simple. Uh, and then you know you have. These little stickers that you can you can pull on, and again, again, the very very simple, playful, but the power it, it, it's kind of exposing some of the power of what's behind this in, in the platform itself, and it's those um, you know little tweaks, adding you know pizzazz to the to the UI that we want to get in developers' hands in more of a standard way. So when you look forward to our vision for the, the you know the native SDK and even across the uh, the runtime on. Uh, on the playbook, we want to be able, to, you know, developers to be able to use a button or a, um, you know, a text field or a simple transition from page to page or as you move around the page that takes advantage of this this technology. So you just get it baked in. Right? Right. So a nice animated effect as you press on a button and it expands up and, and kind of falls back. Uh, it's those things that we want to put in developers' hands in terms of providing them uh, native controls that have this uh, this technology baked in. Cool. Um, so, wh wh when is the, the the native SDK coming out? Uh, it's coming out in the summer. Okay. So there'll be uh, a release, uh, you know, prior to DevCon, and then I think uh, for for those of you, uh, you know, really interested in getting hands on with the native SDK and uh, the power of, of TAT and the the framework that we're discussing here, uh, DevCon is going to be the the kind of big coming out party where we have. Uh, you know all the content and full availability of the tools, cool. and uh, and you know all of our people and people from RIM Sweden uh, on hand to uh, to help developers get engaged. Cool. Uh, do, do you have the uh, the news application running on here too? That's a good question. Oh, the uh, with the globe yeah, with the globe effect. Sure. Yeah, we That's can we can load that, that up. That's another one. Another good one. Um, I think we we have a number of samples. No, the way we're approaching uh, samples in terms of educating. Uh, the community on how to build these applications because you, you do have to understand the uh, the framework and and how to in many cases you have to see it to understand how you can then take that and use it in your application if you're not you know you don't have a uh, a serious graphics background um, so so what we're doing with these samples is we're we're trying to build up enough of a a real world sample but in bite sized pieces so that a developer can. Uh, you know, learn what's going on behind the scenes through through working in the in the markup and in the language bindings, and then you know immediately be able to translate into something that they want to do with their their app. So, okay. so again, uh, I mean, I think you can probably find a, a reason to put a scrolling list in practically any app, and we have one, we have one here with a, a kind of scrolling news newsreel at the bottom, uh, and then we have uh, you know 3D mesh of a globe up on top, and what happens is. Uh, as you touch a news story, first of all, you get that animation effect of the additional details coming up. So again, something very simple. Uh, but if you're writing, you know, coding in native uh, yourself without the benefit of a framework, it could be, uh, you know, a lot of code. Mm. Um, and then you also get the effect of as you touch on the news story, the globe responding to that by uh, by spinning and rotating uh, and, and giving you this this kind of great animated uh, effect. So uh, simple app, but it's. I mean, it looks great. It's. Uh, you know, it provides great functionality to the user, and it's. It's just. It's very, very, very engaging user experience. So, these are the kind of things that we want baked into our own apps, and the kind of things that we want developers uh, to be able to have access to. Um, cool. You know, 